Hello everybody, my name is CapGuy378 and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. We are in the transept right now, I think. I don't remember. But yeah, and we're gonna go find stuff. That's all I know. Ugh. Hello. It is upstairs, so let's check out these doors first though. Hello? Hello? <laughs> what? What's that sound? Ooh, I don't like this. Hello? There's nothing in here. Oh, we got tiny box. We got orb. The rapist hanged upside down. His tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. Saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Ew. That's horrible. I feel like something's gonna come out. I don't like this feeling. I feel a lot of dread right now coursing through me. Oh, goody, more. Hello? What's that? There's the door. What is this? Well, this place looks very ominous and very spooky. I don't like this. Ugh. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. Oh, I think shoulders only take about like eight pounds, I think, of weight before it, it uh, gets dislocated or, or uh, fractured or something like that. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. That is horrific. Why would you ever do that? What is this? Why do I have a headache? Is it from the orbs? Shimmering blue light. Might be from the orbs. Or maybe it's just that room, it's very uh discomforting. Be in. Oh I don't like this, a door was straight. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Like you? Oh my gosh. Like this. Okay, another vision. No, please! Do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! Do anything! 
Where is this? Or, oh, there it is. I thought that was the orb. I was like, that's too pointy to be an orb. Maybe it's a Triforce? The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectation. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They can make him forget again. What is wrong with this Alexander guy? I don't like this. I don't like this. Ooh, ooh. Something coming for me? The sound. Alright, well I guess it's time to go upstairs. Hello? Wow, these these stairs are pretty rickety. Very clanky, clangy loud. Oh. Is that Alexander? I think that's Alexander. Are we in the house again? Oh my gosh. Something not of like a demonic dungeon. Just close this door. Get this tindy box. Oh, is that rope? Nah, we're gonna. Ooh, I see what's in here. Ooh, I get this oil. Yes, oil. Ooh, is that Ladadadum? No. Any more Ladadadum? No. Alright. Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. That adrenaline rush, they're right there. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right step take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it would trigger itself into greater fear, simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield a maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. So is this Vite the uh, just uh, adrenaline? Is that is that it? Oops, I don't want that. All right, what's this say? Is it you, my love? I missed the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan, perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The black eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they would demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. I can't return home. Now, I will... I shall perish. What was that sound? It sounded like something was walking. That was scary. What was that? What was that down there? Oh. Yeah, I picked up string. What's that sound? What's this? There's nothing here. Is anything behind here? No. What is that noise? Not sure what that noise is. Wait. I 
think I am done done here. I don't want to stay here any longer than necessary. Oh man, this, these torture things. Oh. Oh, why is it so dark? Oh, it's light. Oh, thank goodness. Was this blood here before? I don't remember. Good to see you. see the Also, all pieces used in the transfer. Go to the choir and find the rest. Okay. Remaining ore pieces can be found in the choir. Oh, yippee! The evil place. Ugh. It looks more evil than in the transept and all those visions. Ugh. Ugh. The thought of it just grosses me out. Inhumane. That's, that's torture. That's sort of torture. It's just. The main hall. Oh, jeez. Well, we are here, so. What are my intentions, Daniel? I don't know. You tell me. Salvation. It used to be yours. But now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. How is it my fault that I want to live? Man, this guy is insane. All right, everyone, I'm out of time right now. It's too spooky for me right now. Oh, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, everybody. Thank you again for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to get more videos and watch more videos there. And I'll see you guys in the next video, everybody. Goodbye.